I joined Sparna fairly recently, having worked a lot in international field. I worked for the Red Cross for a lot of my life. The focus of our work for the next year, for this year, 2017, is going to be continuing veterinary care in about 20 odd countries where we work. Secondly, longer term sustainability of communities. I think the international community at the moment concentrates more on the immediate needs after an emergency. I think it's a balance. I mean, in the past I was used to emergency situations where you go out and you help with food and water and medicine immediately. But what people have got to realise, and they're not quite there yet, is there is longer term sustainability of these communities. And that's what Spana do. We are educating people and communities on how best to look after animals which means that they can avoid some of the veterinary care. So far since I joined Spana, I've been to Mali and I've been to Morocco, and the one that I remember the most was in the rubbish tips in Mali. There were donkeys being hit with sticks by people, and there were children coming up thinking that was the right thing to do, also hitting these donkeys. They turn into wounds, which go septic, and then we have to look after them with our veterinary care. The whole essence of what we're trying to do in these situations is to educate children and communities on how to better look after their animals. It's to their own advantage. The other thing we do is to work in schools, educating children from those communities on how better to look after the animals. We can work with some of the emergency aid agencies and actually start rebuilding the livelihoods of people through the animals.